ultra-competitive world of NASCAR, the difference between winning and losing often comes down to fractions of seconds. That means victories aren't always determined behind the wheel. Kyle Busch wins the Dodge Challenge. They can be won or lost in the pits. For the first time ever, we're gonna look at the anatomy of the perfect pit stop. Fasten your seatbelts, because these are some of the most pressure-packed seconds in all of sports. To analyze the perfect pit stop, we packed up the sports science lab and traveled to the Joe Gibbs Racing Headquarters in North Carolina, where we recruited one of the most dominant pit teams in all of NASCAR, the crew for number 18, Kyle Busch. In 2008, this all-star pit crew helped Kyle set a record for most wins in a NASCAR season. Well, the pit crew is real important in winning races. You gotta have a strong pit crew to be able to get you off pit road without losing spots because nowadays with this car that we have, you can't really pass that well. Nowadays, the guys in the pits aren't your average grease monkeys. They've evolved into finely tuned athletes plucked from the ranks of elite college sports. And they prepare for races like a team in any other professional sport. And here, in the back of Joe Gibbs headquarters, Kyle Busch's seven-man team, the Jack Man, the Gas Man, the Catch Can Man, the Tire Carriers, and the Tire Changers will help us break down one of the fastest pit stops in NASCAR. The perfect pit stop starts with the gas man dumping 12 gallons of fuel from his 90 pound tank in about five seconds. The jack man has a split second to position the 35 pound jack underneath the car's three quarter inch jack post. And like an elite quarterback, the jack man has to anticipate his teammates moves before he drops the jack. If a jackman drops the car too soon before his teammates are done, the driver can speed away with a loose tire, easily costing a race. Basically, a pit stop is choreographed chaos. It looks like, well, there's a lot of people running around. If the car's around, you've got hoses and tires and fuel, but it's very, very precise. While each job in a pit crew is crucial, the position with the most pressure is the tire changer. Our Phantom high-speed camera reveals never before seen details of front tire changer, Nick O'Dell's skill and athleticism. Nick takes only one and a half seconds to run from the wall into position. But what makes Nick the star of the pit crew is that he can remove five lug nuts in one second. That's 200 milliseconds per lug nut. Each lug nut spins a stunning 10 revolutions per second, twice as fast as a helicopter blade. And the high-speed footage reveals that amazingly, Nick has already moved on to the next lug nut while the previous one is still spinning off. After the tire goes on, Nick accelerates off the ground laterally with four Gs. Almost two times as much force as his driver feels going around a turn at 200 miles per hour. With no wasted motion getting around the car, Nick hits the ground and gets to work on the other tire. If Nick and his teammates do their jobs perfectly, it all adds up to a blazing 12.12 seconds. And if you break it down to its finest details, this seven-man team must execute a mind-blowing 73 unique maneuvers in less than 13 seconds. By today's standards, it has to be 13 seconds flat or better. The guys who can do that eight, nine, 10 out of 10 times, they're gonna wind up being the winners for the day. If you compare a pit stop to other plays in sports, like James Harrison's 100-yard interception return in the 2009 Super Bowl, 
A perfect pit stop is actually faster. To get some perspective on just how difficult it is to get a car back on the track in no time flat, we recruited a former legend in the pits, NASCAR announcer, Jeff Hammond. Jeff was the jackman for Cale Yarborough's three Winston Cup seasons, and later won two more championships as the crew chief for Darrell Waltrip. What would happen if you were part of the team? If you'd asked me this question about 15 years ago, I'd say nothing. I mean, I'm a pretty good jackman. I'm not much of a tire changer. But today, Jeff's going to pull out his old gear and work alongside other members of Kyle Busch's team, changing tires. Can this pit veteran keep up with today's elite crew and help them beat 13 seconds? Find out when sports science continues. I don't know whether to throw up or run hide behind this wall because I don't know what's gonna happen.